In this video, we will learn about dot product and its application to statics. Topic 2.9, Chapter 2. Dot product. Learning objective is to determine is how to use dot product. And there are two applications of dot product for vectors. One is to determine an angle between two vectors. So if we have two vectors as shown in figure here, vector, one vector in this direction and the second vector uh, is along this cable. If we need to know what is the angle between these two vectors, then we can do that using dot product. And the second one is to determine the projection of a vector along a specified line. So if we are interested to know what component of this force acting along this cable contributes in this direction of vector B. So we are projecting this vector along the specific line. So there are two applications of dot product. It's a very simple mathematical operation. Dot product between two vectors P and Q can be written as magnitude of P multiplied by magnitude of Q multiplied by cosine theta. So this is the equation for the dot product. The dot product of two vectors result in always a scalar quantity. Application of dot product, if we would like to know what is the angle between these two cable, angle theta, we can find out that by first finding the positions of this vector, let's say this is point A, this is point B, and this is point C. So we, we, we can write down position vector going from A to B based on the coordinates value and calculate the position vector going from A to C using coordinates value of A and C. And then using dot product between two vectors, we can calculate this angle theta. Another application, as you can see here, is that the force F is applied by hand in a, in a three dimension as shown in figure. The magnitude of this force is 8, 80 Newton. However, not all of this 80 Newton can be used to turn the wrench. So we would like to calculate how much of this force, 80 Newton, is responsible for turning the wrench. And the force that is responsible for turning the wrench is actually perpendicular uh, to this AB, uh, the lever AB. So we need to project this force along this direction. And for that, we can use dot product. So it's again dot product of two vectors A and B can be written as, mag as vector A dot vector b multiply equal to magnitude of vector a multiplied by magnitude of vector b multiplied by cosine of angle between them and this angle is always the acute angle means the smallest angle between two vectors and it's in the range of 0 to 180 degree so if these vectors are extended in in both direction there is another angle as well this big angle between those two but no theta is always the smallest angle it's called an acute angle and it's between 0 to 180 so let's take an example how to find apply the dot product in practical application. So dot product of two same unit vector is always one. So i dot i is one, j dot j is one, k dot k is one. But two perpendicular vector is always zero. So i dot j is zero or j dot k is zero or k dot i is zero. Now consider vector A as a Cartesian vector written as shown in figure, uh, as shown in the slide here. Vector B written as a Cartesian vector as shown in the slide here and the dot product between them can be calculated by simply multiplying the x component with x component along with the positive or negative sign so it is ax multiplied by bx then plus it's ay multiplied by by plus it's az multiplied by bz okay so this is one equation for the dot product and the second equation is it can also be written as magnitude of a multiplied by magnitude of b multiplied by cosine of angle theta between them so that is equal to a x b x plus a y b y plus a z b z and using this we can calculate cosine theta is equal to this number like this everything on the on the right side divide by multiplication of two magnitudes and then we can take the cosine inverse or arc cosine of of this uh, right side and get the value of angle theta okay so that is being shown here so theta is cosine inverse of a dot b divided by magnitude of a multiplied by magnitude of b and the angle is always between 0 to 180 degrees 
Another application is determining the projection of a vector. So let's say we have vector A and we would like to find out the projection of that vector along line A, uh, this small A here. So for that, we need to get the direction of, of the vector, which is given by UA. Now we have to find the direction, divide any vector by its magnitude. That gives us the direction. So projection of A along the small A axis can be written as A multiplied by unit vector multiplied by cosine of angle between them. So this is another application of dot product. So there is a, let's look at one solve problem from the slide where force F is given by this vec vector, 3D Cartesian vector. And what we need to determine is define the angle between the force vector F and the line AO and between them. So for AO, we do not have any 3D Cartesian vector, but all we know is the, uh, location of point A and location of point O. So O is at origin, so O is 0, 0, 0. A is some units along X. So along X, it's one unit or one meters. Along Y, it's in the negative direction, so it's minus two. So A has one, minus two, and along Z, it's plus two. So using coordinates of A and O, we can write down the position vector going from A to O. And then we can find the angle between them using the dot product of force vector and the position vector. See, for a dot product, it is not necessary to have both the vectors of the same magnitude. You can have the dot product between the force vector and position vector as well to calculate the angle. So let's look at it. So that's how the angle is calculated. So first step is find out position vector AO. Second step is find the angle theta, which is force vector dot product position vector divide by magnitude of force multiplied by magnitude of the position vector okay so vector ao can be written as so force vector f and their magnitude both of their magnitudes are calculated respectively so this is vector this is magnitude this is force vector this is the magnitude of force vector and the next step is dot product which is minus one multiply by minus six for plus it's two multiply by nine the second step and third it's minus two multiply by plus three which is third step and that's equal to 18 kilonewton meter because the force has unit kilonewton and position has uh, unit meters so dot product unit depends on the units of these two vectors and then angle theta can be calculated simply by dividing this number 18, which is the result of dot product with the magnitude of a uh, vector f, which is 11.22 kilonewton and magnitude of r, which is three. And that angle is 57.67 degrees. And second step is we are projecting vector f along the direction AO. So for that projection, we need to find out the direction vector for AO, UAO. And that we can calculate by dividing the position vector with its magnitude. So this is purely the direction. See, it does not have any unit because it's dimensionless. And multiplying force vector or dot product of force vector with this direction, UAO, gives us the magnitude of force acting along this direction, 6 kilonewton. So let's go back and look at the magnitude of force. So see the magnitude of the force is 11.22 kilonewton along this direction. But using dot product, we can calculate that out of this 11 kilonewton going this direction, six kilonewton of that is responsible for direction AO. So how much, so we have projected force F along this direction using this dot product operation. We will do one more problem of this style in the next video.